Welcome to part two on how to add Allen Coral Atlas data into a GIS. Similar to part one, I will add two different types of files, raster and vector from Allen Coral Atlas, but this time into the software QGIS. To briefly recap on raster versus vector data, vector data is composed of points, lines, and polygons. The benthic and geomorphic data within the Allen Coral Atlas represent vector data. Contrarily, raster data is composed of gridded or pixelated cells where each of those cells have a value and are associated with a specific geographical location. The bathymetry and satellite imagery data are examples of raster data within the Allen Coral Atlas. To insert this data into QGIS, you will first need to download your desired data that you have selected from the Atlas. This video will not discuss how to extract data from the Atlas. However, the Atlas already covers this topic, so please click the link below in the description box to learn how to do so. Additionally, if you do not already have QGIS downloaded, please do so at QGIS.org and follow the instructions. This should be an easy download process for you. In addition, there are many resources on how to download QGIS to your computer online. To begin, navigate to your file directory in your computer and browse to the location that holds your Allen Coral Atlas downloaded files. Open the folder to view the data files and click Extract All in the top of the directory window. Choose the destination to extract your files to in your directory and press OK. Once unzipped, open the QGIS application. In the top bar, click Project, then New to create a new project. Once you select New, a blank canvas will immediately open. Before any further modifications within the map canvas, click the floppy disk icon to name and save your project. Once named and saved, press OK. Click Layer in the top bar, then Add Layer. We will start with the benthic data, which is in vector file form. Thus, click Add Vector Layer. In the Data Source Manager window that pops up, make sure Vector is selected in the sidebar. Under Source within the Vector tab, there is an area to allow you to insert the file path to a vector data set. To do this, click the Browse icon to the right of the path bar. The Browse icon is labeled with three little dots. Browse for the benthic file and press Open. Once the file path is inserted, press Add at the bottom of the Data Source Manager window to add the data to the map. The process of this is typically fast. Press close at the bottom of the window to view the newly added data to the canvas. The process with adding raster data is not much different than this. To do so, navigate back to the layer tab in the top bar and click add layer from the drop down. This time choose add raster layer. Make sure Raster is selected in the sidebar once the Data Source Manager window opens. Click the Browse icon next to the file path bar under Source. Browse to the Raster file and press Open. In this scenario, I will add the satellite imagery. Press Add at the bottom of the window once the file is selected. Press Close to view the raster data in the map. Depending on the order of the data added, layers may be on top of one another, causing one to not be visible. To fix this, navigate to the Layers panel to the left of your screen and click and drag the layers above or below each other until all layers are visible. Congratulations, you just successfully added Allen Coral Atlas data to QGIS. Thank you for watching and please contact allencoralatlas.org if you have any questions.